Welcome to uh, Cooking with Johan. Today we're going to do fun stuff uh, for the kids. Uh, we're going to make cars out of food. Today we're going to start with the Rice Krispie car. It's kind of fun if you use different kind of uh, cereals that you can use. It always starts with marshmallows and butter. I uh, have four cups of marshmallows, three tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to microwave that for three minutes. This is about a cup, so we're going to do six cups. And one. Kind of cool how they look. They all nice and puffy. And stir that up. So until everything is nice and smooth, just try to incorporate all the butter. Now, just And about this time, you know, it's cold enough, you can kind of... Okay, when you got most everything incorporated, you're going to start to shape the car. Just push down on the hood a little bit, shape a really cool car. And it depends also what kind of car you want to make. For me, I wanted a little bit of a race car. You know, you use your hands wherever you can. And if it gets hard before you are done, you always can shave it off with the knife a little bit. And no two cars look alike anyway, when you make them out of Rice Krispie. Now usually when uh, your Rice Krispie uh, treat is hot, it's still bendable. So I always speed the process up a little bit in the refrigerator. It is best just to make the, the wheel wells for the car early. What I do is put it on its side and uh, normally you can do this with a cookie cutter. I'm using today a butter curler and I'm just going to go where the car should go and kind of push in and do that the same thing in the back. And then with the knife, this is some part that mom or dad can help out a little bit. Yes, just cut that part out. And if things fall out of place, it's okay. You can push it back in. Okay. And do the same thing over there. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Cool. That's awesome. So we get the wheel wells made. Now the thing is kind of fun, you know, get the, the wheels. I usually put a little frosting on the top. And what I do is stick them into the wheel well. And just give them a little pressure. And I go to the next one. Now I think it's time for our windows and some uh, racing stripes. I like to make my racing stripes out of these sour candies. And kids, use the candy that you really like because you're the ones going to be eating it. So pick your favorites and and what looks cool. Okay, I just kept the red was still attached, so it will look cool when you put it on the car. And then I usually see where I need to cut it. And it's right there. there. I grab some frosting. So for the windows, I like to use some uh, fruit roll up. I thought it would be maybe fun. That's pretty sticky. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to get it off. But uh, usually the side that is stuck to the plastic is the shiny side. Yeah, there you go. You know, this is cherry flavor, I believe. On the example, I did uh, grape. 
grape is maybe a little nicer because it shows more like a tinted window or something. I start just by cutting a strip and sometimes we just measure it's about a finger wide. You know, it doesn't have to be way precise. And if you want to just kind of trim it, just lay it on there. And then with some uh, scissors, some kitchen scissors, you know, we'll just start cutting away. So dry fit it, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I just grab a little bit of frosting and glue that down. Do the spoiler. First I just, you know, get two of the gummies on there and on the top of the gummies I do a little bit of frosting and then we'll put a wafer cookie on top of that just for the spoiler then as for the lights I'd like to do the headlights just a yellow smarty and then some brake lights just the way we do it now if you want to get really fancy put a number on there as well